introduction. Good afternoon. This is Harmon with Native Media Network. We're going to be broadcasting live today from Bernalillo High School. The J.G. K.D. Edwards Memorial Power, and I'm sitting next to, standing next to Irene Edwards, and she is the host of this powwow, and I'd like to ask you to give a few words to kind of bless the airwaves, welcome you on to our community. Noah, I greeted you in my Pawnee language saying, hello, I acknowledge you, I see you, you see me out here. I wanted to welcome you to this surprise birthday party for Katie on his 89th birthday and also as an appreciation for prayers that were said when he was ill, when he fell and broke his hip one year and then fell and broke his hip the next year. So a lot of people prayed for him. And we want to thank you for all of the things, the good words that you said for him. This event, this powwow, is our way of thanking the community for the people to feed them in our Pawnee way. To feed people is the highest thing that you can do for them. And so that's what we wanted to do was to give to the community because they gave so many good words and prayers for him. So enjoy the day. Uh, we're going to start with gore dance from this afternoon. We'll have a meal at 5. We're going to have some fun things and then the dancing begins this evening at 7. And so we hope you stay with us throughout the day. Um, come back and check in. Um, grand entries at 7. So we hope you're here. But on behalf of my family, a um, on behalf of KD, we want to thank you for joining us here today on this very auspicious occasion. Thank you. Thank you, Irene. I know you have a lot to do. Maybe we can talk a little bit later. Thank you for hosting this. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Well, for all of you that are out there, tell your friends that we're going to be doing what is an authentic uh, powwow in memory of KD Edwards along with a, a meal at 5 o'clock. And also, I'd like to thank everyone, uh, the arena master, boy lad, and everybody involved in making this thing happen. And uh, stay tuned. For those of you that would like to tweet us, you can tweet us at NDN Talk. That's Nancy David Nancy Talk. Please feel free to send your own condolences and congratulations, any celebratory remarks that you may have. And also, you can, uh, we're going to be archiving this on uh, Native Media Network, so you'll be able to see it starting next week. In the meantime, pop a can of soda, enjoy it with us if you can't be here in Bernalillo. As uh, Irene mentioned, the first part of the program will be a gourd dance, and that will be moderated by Boy Land, who will be getting on in a little while. Thank you all. Sit back, relax, enjoy an afternoon powwow.
good to see a lot of our people coming together, especially at times like this, uh, acknowledging one of our elders again, uh, for some of you just arrived again. Today we're honoring a gentleman, his uh, surprise birthday, uh, Powell, birthday Gordon Dance, uh, honor of Katie Edwards, a uh, gentleman that uh, many of us know, originally from Oklahoma, he did many years over in Comanche country, very highly respected in hey, Oklahoma, knowledgeable of song, you know, gifted in song, and kind of a keeper of a lot of the old songs among the Comanche people. Also as a street dancer, a gentleman I've seen dance many celebrations in hey, Oklahoma back in the 1970s and 80s, and friendship goes back many Many, many years, yeah. But anyway, once he shows up, and again, he'll be coming over from this corner, and they ask you in a nice way to we'll stand and uh, sing a kind of a little brief uh, happy birthday song to him. Uh, and it is a surprise, and uh, he doesn't know yet. I guess uh, Irene has managed to keep it a secret all this time. Uh, Though we even had posters out around the country. Uh, right now that some of our special guests that have come a long way to be here this weekend. I uh, see some Oklahoma, California. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to welcome them. Uh, again, as all the singers are coming in with probably end up with about two drums out there. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be kind of guiding off from Bernard over here. Yeah. Everything up, a lot of singers and people acknowledging you like this. Again, the respect we have for KD. I want to thank our uh, boys for helping us get some tape out here. And, uh, and again, I do urge uh, all of you dancers out there, be very careful when you come across the floor. Some of the uh, tarp has not been taken down yet, and we don't want to see anybody tripping or falling. Uh. And again, uh, you know, I want to welcome all our friends here. Uh, We're going to kind of stand by, and uh, once he enters in the door, we'll kind of sing a happy, happy birthday. Now there's my brother up here, my name showed up, my uh, co-MC. Uh, welcome, uh, gentlemen. Ellie does some. The mainland or up in Hickory or uh, where are you coming from? Farming yeah. tonight. Right. So again, uh, just a few more minutes. Uh, we should be just about arriving here right now. And, uh, again, I want to thank you. Uh, we had some misinformation at first, but uh, he'll be coming in from the northeast corner, I believe it is over here. So, very special day. Uh, and thank you, singer. Thank you, Dean Brown. Okay, we'll get our board dancer underway right after our songs here. And I asked Bird in a nice way to sing a birthday song as well. So. I acknowledge and you know, open it up a little bit. Somebody want to express themselves. Uh, 
throughout the day and open out the day to the gourd dance. I think it would be gourd dancing up until 5 o'clock and then uh, supper break and then I uh, want to thank all the people that have assisted Irene, you know, sponsors and everything, especially our vendors. I do encourage you to go up and patronize our vendors. Again, I see some things up there rather than unique. Hey, you want to go check some beadwork out? Beautiful silver work, a lot of turquoise necklaces, and a lot of beautiful things. I kind of want to eyeball one of those uh, headphones up there. Again, uh, what I recognize at this time, Mr. Ernie Zaha. Yeah, my co MC up here. So. Uh, oh, welcome, brother. Uh -huh. Thank you there, boy. It's good to be here. This afternoon, say so welcome to all you good kind people coming out here to Bernalillo. For those of you who think you can't make it from Farmington to Bernalillo in an hour and a half, you can't. I just proved that. Two hours and three minutes is the best I could do from Farmington, downtown Farmington. I live right over there by Farmington High School. Two hours and three minutes is the best I could do. Good to be here this morning, head singer this morning, this afternoon. Uh, Bernard, Grandpa, ran out there with all the boys. We've got a packed crew out there, looks like. We're gonna have some board dancing this afternoon. This evening we'll have regular war dance starting at seven o'clock, I believe it's grand entry. Again, I want to welcome all of you. Dancers out here, a lot of you, you guys I saw last weekend over in Gallup. It's good to see y'all out here this weekend as we come together for another birthday celebration. Last weekend we took time out for Grandma Curly, and this weekend we're taking time out for Katie Edwards. So again, thank you to all you good people for coming out here this afternoon. And on behalf of the family, I want to say welcome and thank you one more time. And You'll hear that from me a lot because there's a lot in this life that we have to be grateful for. And today's a good day to come together and show our appreciation. However it is we want to do that, whether we're singing or dancing or rejoicing with one another. It's always good to pay homage to the, to the deities that be that make this life possible and make it a wonderful life in that way. So we're going to do that today again. Birthday celebration for Mr. King Edwards. We're broadcasting this through MDN1. It's good to be here this afternoon again. Our head core dancer, Mr. Leonard Tavoya, right over here in the white shirt on my left, walking down the arena. Oh, it's not. He's back there. My bad. And over here, ladies and gentlemen, walking in on the northeast side of the gym with the hat on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you would please stand. And on the count of three, we're going to sing happy birthday to Katie Edwards. So one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Happy birthday to you. All right. Have a wonderful time. At this time, I'm uh, asked in a nice way, a very special way, uh, Southern Mix, if you will. We want to acknowledge this man with our birthday song and what we say, Indian Way. And we, again, of course, we have a song for every everything that we do in our way of life. And uh, so at this time, I'd like to ask everyone to please stand, those that are able, as we're going to honor KD in the Indian Way, or if you will, Southern Mix birthday song. Uh, oh.
and this is a very special day. A special day set aside in honor of an elder, a singer, a dancer, a man knowledgeable of our tradition, our way of life. Originally from Oklahoma, he's been residing here in the Santa Fe area for many years. I certainly appreciate the invitation by Irene and all the family and relatives that have come here today, many of them as far as California, Oklahoma, to honor him. Very special man, hey, Mr. A.D. Edwards. Encouraging words or prayers 
over the past few years. And out of that appreciation is the reason the family wanted to come together and recognize KD not only for his birthday, but also recognize everybody along the way. And one last time, show their appreciation for his health and all the good kind people. So this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna ask you to please stand again as we call upon one of our leaders here in the Albuquerque area, one of the headsmen for the War Shield Gort Society, Mr. Lauren Shortman, so I'll turn the microphone to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would stand up to pray for I have a condition and I can't do it right now. So I'll sit here and pray. Pray for a good Lord to take care of it. Change these many hundred years. Dear Lord, we we'll come to you in prayer this your day. Be with us, guide us, direct us as we go about our daily life and enjoy ourselves in this daily power that we come to, that we know, that we grew up with. And the court dance, the powwows, the sun dance, the period of meetings, those that we grew up with, that we appreciate that the Lord takes care of us. And just be with all these people that took time out to come. I don't care how far they came. Be with them, guide them, direct them back home safely. And be with all the babies. Take care of the babies so that we can have Indians in this world. And I'm asking you to enjoy yourself this afternoon. Enjoy yourself and wish KD of me. Happy New Year, the greatest Happy New Year. Uh, I'm the same age he is, but I can still outrun him. <laughs> Dear Lord, just be with us and guide us and direct us. When we get through and go home tonight, we're going to say, that was a very good powwow. And I thank each and every one of you for coming. And I thank the committee for giving me this time to pray for this gathering that we have in here. Enjoy yourself. We have lots of things to be joyful for. Enjoy yourself today. Ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, thank you there. That wonderful prayer. James, Irene, do you want to have a memorial flag veteran song or we'll go straight into Gord? How do you guys want to do this? Memorial song? All right, Grandpa, we're going to come to you for a memorial song. Straight into it. All right, we'll do that later. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get started with our Gord Dance program once our singers get set there. Our head singer this afternoon, Bernard Durand. I always wanted to say Roberto Durand. As many years I've been singing with you, in my head it still comes out with Roberto. I'm not paying attention. I believe he was a marathon runner in the 1920s. I think somebody's going to have to check me on my sports history there gold medalist or something. There's a reason he's famous. So our gore dance this afternoon. Reach up.
in the ninth grade. This memorial song is in honor of many of our relatives, many of those who are a big part of this arena. We remember and think of the legacy. Many of the things we have left with our younger generation. And so again today, we certainly appreciate all that you said. And come on, in a good way.
I'm going to share really quick a short version of the Kiowa origination story of our dance here, myself being brought into this score dance circle in 1992 by Tonky I White. And so I feel compelled to tell this story out of respect for that day and also all the good kind relatives who have come and share with me different versions of stories and of the protocols that go into this gore dance as I've become more familiar with being an announcer during some of these dances. So the story goes that a long time ago there was a young man who was who was lost, got separated from his war party and trying to find his way back to camp. And he couldn't find his way. And the time came where he figured that this was his time, it was his end. He was hungry and he was tired, so and like they used to do in those old days, they would go on top of the highest hill they could find and they would go meet their maker. And so that's what he did. He went to the top of the hill and he was waiting to meet his creator. And meanwhile, he heard this rattle, this singing, and he's decided to go see what it was, he got curious. So he went through the hills and he came across this red wolf and that red wolf was dancing and singing, similar to what you see now and before you today. And those two started talking. And he said, that red wolf said, you know, I know the struggles you have right now. I know what it is you're feeling. I know you want to be with your people. I know you want to go home. He says, I'm going to help you. He says, I'm also going to give this to you, to your people. And I'll give this dance to you. I want you to learn these songs. I want you to learn the stories behind it. So that young man did so. And that red wolf took him home. So you hear these songs at the end of the song. You hear that. Oh! That comes out of respect for the red wolf. Paying homage to the red wolf where this dance come from. This is a healing dance, as I understand it, the way I've been told. Once upon a time was part of the Kiowa Sun Dance that was performed once a year and is designed to. And, the Kiowa, and I don't want to go too far into it, they have different societies. This is one of the dances that they had for the different societies, and this is supposed to heal people. It's a healing dance. So, with that, I know out here in the Southwest, there's a lot of people who will talk about this. I still hear it today. They'll say, oh, that's a veteran's dance. And I'll always correct them and say, no, it's not. It's a man's dance. And a lot of our veterans have found healing here in this circle. And so that way, you know, it's open to all the men if you're interested in learning more. There's some good relatives that are around this arena that know more than me who can tell you more about some of the traditions and also our Cheyenne relatives that are here, you know, they'll tell you that this was a society dance that belonged to them since time and memoriam that this performed, that this dance used to be performed before war parties or after war parties inside those lodges. And they would go all night. And a lot of the women weren't allowed during those times. And so this dance also for them is, is held in a sacred manner. So I only say these things because at some point, you know, we start talking about the protocols and some of the behaviors that go along with, with being inside this arena, whether you're a singer or a dancer, that there's certain things that we have to remind ourselves about as we go forward in this life. I know, again, there's a lot of different tribes here and, all of us have our own origination stories, whether it's our tribal stories or whether we practice our religion elsewhere. You know, each of those stories have significance to each and every one of us. And so try to keep this as general as as intertribal as possible. But there will be times that, uh, you know, we'll just relay things as people come to me, or you know, they come to boy, you know, they'll They'll say, can you say this? Can you remind people about this? So it's our roles as announcers, as MCs, to, 
to go ahead and take that upon our shoulders to relay those teachings, to relay those teachings to all our relatives. We do that in a good way. We don't do it to chastise. We don't do it to make people feel bad. You know, we do it in a way to try to create respect and camaraderie with one another. Again, I know some of us do the best we can with what we're taught, you know, and relay that to the people in a good way so everybody can enjoy themselves because we're here to celebrate Katie's birthday. <laughs> Number 89, sitting out there at center drum. Hello. Just like Good. he has for decades now. We're wrong. Well known singer, He's dancer, champion dancer. I missed it when he first got here. Wow. <laughs> I was looking on Facebook when we saw her promoting this dance. It was somebody all the way from Tennessee, and I was like, is this the same Katie Edwards from 1980 something something? He still owes me some money. I said, I don't know that, Katie. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, our sound people. All right. Try this microphone out. Sounds good audio out of Tejajale, New Mexico. Fernando Secatero, Orlando. So you get down to Albuquerque, people start throwing on that little Spanish little twist. My redneck ears heard Fernando. Fernando, not Fernando. No, it's the cord. Try this microphone out for the time being. Got a wireless one in the truck I was given last week and we did an extra. <laughs> Bernard was our, our sound guy last weekend and he gave me a microphone. A wireless mic. So here, brother. Not diva enough to pull that out yet though. You show up at the powwow with your own microphone. I don't know, not there. out on the side. We're going to another set of core bands. Time to go around the horn. Good to see you, Grandpa, and all you singers out there.
and uh, Bernie coming out and just being good, his story, you know how we look at the origin of board dance and for the benefit of many of our visitors that are here, you know, it's a tradition that originated up in the Black Hills of uh, the Dakotas and eventually we shared among many of the brothers to the Kiowa people of Oklahoma. As I've said before, you know, it uh, came to the Southwest back during the Gallup ceremonial days when the Kiowa people came here to the annual Gallup ceremonial and the times in the afternoon, you know, they were entertained by doing a lot of their society dancing. I think a lot of the old timers recall those days and uh, at that time they brought forth the board dance and many of the people adopted it, many of the net people and we got to see a lot of our Pueblo people here also chosen, you know, this as a way of life and showing pride, pride in our culture, our way of life. Uh, then we have a lot of variety here, representation, not only here, just in the Southwest, but throughout North America. I see some of my friends from the Northern Plains and all points, so to speak. And, uh, but again, uh, we say in a good way, you know, this drum has brought a lot of unity, brought, uh, brought our people together. You know, I recall back in the 1950s when certain tribes could not sit together at the same drum, singing the same song. But today, you see all nations coming together. As we say, the heartbeat of Mother Earth that has brought us together. Today, in a very special way, we honor a special gentleman, a friend to many of us, uh, many of the old timers recall back, you know, back in the 1960s, 1970s, and recollection, you know, the respect we had for this arena, the drum, song, and dance as a whole, you know, and again today we honor Mr. K.D. Edwards, longtime friend of mine, I've known his sons over the years, uh, many of them accomplished dancers, fancy dancers, street dancers, uh, good to see his son being a big part of, again, acknowledging his father, showing the pride, you know, that we say, in this arena and uh, honoring our father well he's still here today again i wanted to acknowledge james in a good way in my eyes perhaps one of the better of our street dancers especially here in the southwest i always enjoy watching him dance and also a renowned singer in his own right so certainly i want to acknowledge james and irene for doing a fine job here today uh, also yeah a man here Nicholas going around, our arena director, taking care of our singers, our dancers, doing a fine job. So any of you that may have some questions or perhaps some special requests, you might want to check in with Nicholas, the gentleman carrying our mop off today. Hey. Yeah. So again, if any of you have any requests or specials that you might want to put on today, uh, check in with Nicholas. He is our arena director. and. Also, you have acknowledgments that you want to do in the arena floor. Uh, you might want to check in with Leonard, our head court dancer, a good man, good friend of mine. Good to see Woody, Woody Dato. Yeah, good to see him from the Kiowa Nation. A good friend of mine, a Vietnam veteran. We have a lot of veterans here. Edgar, yeah, good to see Edgar Luhan here, gentleman from Santa Ana. We have a lot of veterans. Again, for some of you, you know, years ago when we talked about the origin of the gourd dance, you know, at that time they acknowledged the Rough Riders, you know, the Society of Warriors among the Kiowa people. And today, you know, not necessarily so much uh, acknowledging our veterans. As we look at a lot of our VIPs, a lot of our leaders within our community, you look at a lot of the leaders uh, that have accomplished lots on behalf of our people. You know, among the you know people here in the Southwest, I know upon my return here back uh, five years ago, when I finally moved back to the New Mexico area. I noticed there was a lot of change, you know, and so in calling back to Oklahoma, a lot of my family, I have about five or six families that I have been adopted into, big Hawa families, and times I look to them for guidance, especially in this arena. I think back to you know, you know some of the concerns that we share, they, as we said, you know, Ernie was talking about the protocol, the etiquette that we recognize in this arena. You know, one does not merely just put a blanket on and a fan and board, rather than come out and dance. 
there's a certain protocol that we respect, certain things that we acknowledge in this arena, most importantly to the drum and our head staff, and again to many of the Kiowa people. I see Mr. Farrell Emahula here, Woody Tato, I uh, see many uh, JJ Abawa, uh, many of these gentlemen, distinguished leaders among our people. Some of you have questions pertaining uh, gourd dance, the etiquette, you might want to talk to them. I know there were a couple of people called me last week and wanting to join, you know, be a part of this arena, and I suggested that you talk to some of our leaders. Here in the Albuquerque area, we have the War Shield Society, a reflection of the Cheyenne, the Cheyenne interpretation, their way of how they respect the gourd dance. We're very honored to have uh, Again today, a gentleman, uh, very highly respected, Mr. Lawrence Shortman, a gentleman I met 50 years ago and became a good friend of him and a family, and uh, over the years, I've always acknowledged this gentleman. There are certain individuals here in the Albuquerque area, I think back to the 1960s, 1970s, Mr. Shortman being one of them, Mr. Ralph Zotai, I think a Corky Komatsiva, yeah, the Howells, there were many, many families from Oklahoma that uh, through relocation that came here to the Southwest and became a big part of our way of life, knowledge and brought Pawa, Hedushka to some tribe, brought it to this uh, place, brought it to the Southwest. And I certainly like to always acknowledge these elders because again, they had a big influence on what we have and share here today. Again, Ernie and I will do our best at trying to explain the certain etiquette, the certain protocol throughout the day, not only more dance, but as well as the Heirushka, Pama tonight. So, again, Ernie, very well respected. So, again, we're going to our next round. We'd like to invite all the board dancers. Come on out. Oka.
the last song that was sung before this one to read and come to it. Composed for her by three gentlemen of the Lodge of Sundance. All you relatives are one.
I forget they got a football team down here. JV team, you and them Lobos. Got a team to look at. I, I watched it one time, they had like 10 people in the stands. All water boys. Who's OSU playing today? I know, I see, OSU. Texas, Kansas? Oh, y'all. Y'all will win. Better win. If not, it's going to be like, that's why I'm not an OSU fan kind of thing. <laughs> We're giving score updates. Let me know what your team is. I'll make sure to get some score updates for you. Oh, I forgot about that team, brother. It's all right, though. They won last weekend. Who are they playing this weekend? They don't even know. Purdue? Uh, pay attention to that game. Nebraska pulling it out last week. I know, any Wisconsin? Boy wants to know who all the Wisconsin Badger fans are. Come on. Yeah, he's starting to go pro football here. Talking about that green and yellow team. Mm. They're not as good as the Cowboys. The Cowboys proved that last week. Uh-huh. Toby Keith had it right. I wish I was a Cowboy. Okay, we'll do an NFL roll call after the Lord dance. Okay, Tehan. It's too rowdy. One time I was teasing all the Arizona Cardinal fans and I got hate mail on Facebook the next day. So don't be on that chunk when we start picking on your team. I say nachos. One of my Dakota buddies would say, what does that mean? He says, I can't say it. I'm just going to say nachos. I say nachos, I'm referring to being on my chunk. We're in the middle of our court dance again. We're here to celebrate the birthday of KD Edwards, 89 years. And singers, it's your, whenever you're ready, whenever you want to sing, you can shut us up anytime. Go on into another set of court dance. We're coming here to sing and dance.
say thank you to all your kind relatives who came out and danced with Boy during that last song. Again, Boy Lad being honored by, was honored by a very snake from one whole chunk to another.
Ben Jr. Moore, I think many of you remember Jr. from back in the day, you know, he used to fancy dance. He's going to be uh, sponsoring a, another Veterans Gord Dance, I believe, on November 12th. Uh, I think uh, some of you are perhaps seeking some information. Uh, you might want to check in with Jr. up here. Also, there's a table over here that's being set up. This will be all our raffle items. So some of you uh, wish to perhaps assist us in... Uh, making this dance possible. We certainly appreciate you coming out and participating. You can support us by again, uh, again buying some of the tickets and everything. Uh, so we want to thank the staff, some of this committee, some of those that have come forth and donated items to, again, make this dance possible. Today, we honor again Mr. Katie Edwards, 7, 89 years young, uh, distinguished elder, veteran, veteran of the Korean War, uh, Long-time friend of mine, so it's certainly did a great honor to come out here. And as Ernie and I were saying, did an honor to serve as our as your MC here today. And, and we have a variety of little specials going on throughout the evening. Once our powwow portion gets underway, uh, we certainly invite all our straight dancers, all our Hedushka friends to come on out. Let's see a couple other people, elders, so to speak. Uh, Dottie Tiger, yeah, I see her here, yeah, welcome, yeah, always good to see her, a long time. Brent, one of our elders here in the Albuquerque area, always good to see her, yeah. Dottie, yeah, uh, our brother Hanson, yeah. All right, again, so again, we get any more Gordon dancers arriving, we certainly invite you to come on out. Uh, our head Gordon dancer, Mr. Leonard Taboya. Indeed, inviting you to come out and participate. Uh, again, we do have a lot of distinguished VIPs among our people. I uh, want to acknowledge also Native Media Network. Yeah, Harman Houghton and Company, thank you. And again, this is being broadcast uh, nationwide, worldwide. Uh, yeah, again, Native Media Network, native1.com. What is it? Native Media. Yeah, all right. Indian1.com, there you go, NDN1.com. So some of you maybe want to tell some of the elders back home that aren't able to come on out here, they can tune in on Indian1.com, Native Media. All right, I believe also there was supposed to be a gentleman, I believe Harmon was telling about a gentleman that uh, wanted to make a statement on behalf of, again, some of our brothers up in North Dakota, I think a lot of us understand what is happening with the Dakota Access Pipeline. You know, there have been a lot of issues revolved around it. I was up there a month ago visiting and talking to some of our leaders, people, organizers, and, and again, there'll be some statements a little bit later on being made on behalf of our brothers up in uh, North Dakota. So again, as some of you have some, perhaps some upcoming uh, power events, board dances, you might want to bring uh, your poster up or let us know a little bit of it so we can Announce it. Also, another brother of mine, he called me out there, wanted to acknowledge Terry Snake, yeah, from the Ho-Chunkana Nation. Yeah, I want to welcome him back. He, again, a gentleman just uh, recovering from a heart attack operation. So, again, thank you. So, all right, we we're just about ready to go to our next round of board dancers. So, again, Leonard DeVoy inviting all the board dancers. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I forget. Singers are taking a break. I got another microphone in the car. You want me to go get that one? All right. Anyways, we have a raffle that's ongoing. The children of Aaron Fry and Shay, is that how I say it? Lucero are having a raffle to raise funds to pay for travel expenses to the ACES National Conference next month. That is the American Indian Science and Engineering Society. Their conference is in Minneapolis. I believe it's November 10th, 11th through the 12th, something like that, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And their daughters are the second, seventh grader at Native American Community Academy. Has a huge interest in gaming and computer coding, and also the Tayatsa. Is that right? I butchered it. All right, third grader.
being homeschooled and has interest in lizards, insects, and wants to become an auto mechanic. So again, there's a raffle going around. You can see these two fine parents on the north side of the arena. I don't know what they're raffling, but they are raffling something. Might be Aaron's, Aaron's deep voice to say happy birthday and leave you a voicemail or something like that. I might pay for that. For that special someone. All right, what do we got here? All right, so singers, I'm going to turn the microphone over here. We have a special presentation. Grandpa, so just hold them. What up, Miss Now? Relatives, friends. It's good to see you, one and all. We have some in the audience that we have not seen for, for a number of years. And we want to say hello once again. My friend here, Desmond Koshaway, a Missouri man. In the many talents that he has, his current project, his lifelong ambitions, he's taken clocks and he's made images inside those clocks. Some heartfelt images, both those for veterans from various services and also the division of those services. In this particular presentation that he and his wife, Luella and Desmond Koshaway, want to present this clock, K.D. Edwards, World War II, Korean conflict veteran. Also he's got, and also the Marine Corps as well as a small beaded board here. But to scratch his back if you have to do that. For some of us, my, my arms are getting too small, too short, so I can't get that small pitch taken care of. But in recognition of this special day, Mr. Edwards, Mrs. Edwards, we want to be able to present this clock to you. We'd like to call upon our dearest friend, as well as our relative, as well as my dad. We can call upon you for a prayer song for this presentation, for this man once again, if you would please, Dad.
Thank you, Brother Kelly, for starting that song on behalf of the family here. And the microphone over here is short. Gentlemen, ladies at the drum, we thank you so much for that song, a very inspirational song. Mr. Koshaway wants to thank each and one, every one of you. We know that your thoughts for today, for the Edwards family, for KD in particular, that these songs that these men and women sing, they're very inspirational. They uplift our spirits. They uplift our prayers to the Creator. We want to thank you so much for that. We know at times that we have aches and pains. For sometimes it may not be tolerable, but we make it. We hope that through the inspiration that each of you have here for your kindness, your wellness, that these pains subside just a little bit. And these prayer songs help us lift that. We want to thank you so much. As Desmond indicates, this drum, these songs, there's so much power, so much medicine in these songs, in the way you sing those songs. These songs are from your heart. The heart is a marvelous thing. Besides being functional, they have healing power. Our Creator looks down and touches our heart, and we make expressions. The family would like to thank each of you for this. The family, the family was, will bring out this gift and want to thank you, KD, the rest of the fam family. We thank you so much, and we appreciate this time. And this birthday gift is just a small gift, but nevertheless, we thank you so much. Well, but, but I miss it. Just now, it's pretty 
pretty cool. Going to be famous. Well, you're already famous. Like coming out in, in Albuquerque, it's like coming to where all the movie stars live, you know? Everybody's talking about movies and who's starring in movies. We've got Bruce over here who's like, this generation's Iron Eyes Cody. Movie stars over here. Us guys from the res were just happy to go out to eat, let alone be in a movie. We got a Native American Veterans Day Gordon's November 12th at the Community of Christ Church on Montebo here in Albuquerque. On Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Supper is at 6 p.m. Your MC Dominic. A Carol at a coach of tea, your head singer Mitchell Yepa out of Albuquerque, your head band dancer Sydney Grant, Ponca City, Oklahoma, your head lady Dottie Tiger, second box out of Albuquerque, your arena director Simon Sims Jr., Muscalero from Muscalero, New Mexico. Arts and craft boots are $25 or a donation raffle item of equivalent value. The giveaways, head staff, honor flag, Leonard Goodbear, World War II veteran, U.S. Army, 11th Airborne. For information, call Sydney or Mini Goodbear, 639-3002. That's coming up November 12th. Also, these items over here, these are for raffle. You can see we got a carrot, we got some necklaces, I thought we had some, some men and women talks, you know. Oh, we got 50-50. So all that over here. You're more than welcome to come on up to the table and take a look at the items that are here. So we're going to try it out. Ooh. Dominic Arquero, Jeanette. That's who's going to be the MC at the November 12th board dance. Also, November 12th, invite y'all up to Abiquiu, New Mexico. I have a board dance out there. I'll be serving as your MC up there. Abiquiu at Ghost Ranch. Then, November something. It's a Sunday, the weekend after, so I believe that would be the 19th or 20th. Come on out to Sandia Prep High School. We're going to have a powwow there. Also, yeah, for some of our locals or even visitors, you know, we uh, want to invite you to come on out to Amos Pueblo on November 12th, I believe it is. November 12th, hosting their annual feast and dances. In my eyes, perhaps one of the largest of a lot of the gatherings here in the 19 Pueblo. So, you are inviting to come on out to Amos Pueblo. November 12th, yeah, all day, very beautiful. For some of you that are visitors that may not know, you know, a lot of the culture, definitely one of the more beautiful uh, work, uh, uh, feast and dance. So, why do you come on out November 12th? Also, Mr. Shortman, Lawrence Shortman, does have some beautiful birds up here. Some of you have an interest in buying some of the birds. Also, board dancers, come on up, check it out. All right, at this time we'd like to invite all four dancers. Come on, time out. Fuck up!
and thank you to all your relatives that came out and honored Katie during that last song. A World War II veteran, a Korean veteran, a firefighter. Spent his whole life dedicating it to helping others and defending others. The reason we're here today is Mr. Katie and the Richard.
Arena Director, Nicholas McGay, coming to us from the Intel, Arizona, and honoring at this time, being honored by a head court dancer, Leonard Tafoya.
Again, uh, there will be a supper break roughly about 5 o'clock or so, and uh, I believe there's going to be some tickets that are going to be given out to our elders. And of course, many of us do understand we always like to take care of our elders first uh, during our supper break. So, the Native Media Network, yeah, NDN1.com, NDN1.com, that's what you have to check it out. special here by our head board dancer, I believe before our final set, so stand by. And if there is anyone else that perhaps wishes to come up and express themselves and, uh, in behalf of KD, certainly open the floor out to any of our friends, visitors, some of that have a, came a great distance, we sure like to open the floor up to them. So again, we do recognize the four corners, we have our War Shield Society, yeah. Black Eagle, oh, we have a variety of different uh, representation here. Also, Ramon, yeah, good to see Ramon Yazi here, a big friend of mine, yeah. Yep, yeah, there. Yeah, representing Buck Wild, oh, I see a lot of drum singers out there, a variety of different drums. Yeah, oh, thank you. Even Wolf Killers, I think we got some representation from Wolf Killers, yeah, they're out there. <laughs> Alright. Again, dancers, we do invite you to kind of stick around. Uh, right after supper break, we're going right into some intertribal dancing. I believe uh, we have a couple of specials during supper break, so we invite you to come on out. We have a Lulu contest. I haven't seen that in a while. Lulu contest. Uh, we yeah, women's special as well. I recall a lot of those specials up north, you know, they used to have a uh, Longest hair contest, Lulu contest, yeah. That's the best voice, yeah. So I kind of asked all our guys that want to participate in that special Lulu contest supper time, yeah. That's going to take place about 5.30, I mean 6.30 is what the family said. 6.30 for that Lulu contest for the men. We chug contest for the women. So all you manly voiced women out there, now's your chance. Prove your warrior status. <laughs> also over here we got raffles. It's open. Come take a look. Come buy a ticket. All the proceeds go to helping out the family here with the dance this afternoon. Takes a lot of work, a lot of planning, and a lot of resources to put something like this together. So any help on any level is most appreciated. Appreciated by the family. Oh. Oh yeah, Nebraska, I forgot about that too. Hold on brother, I got it right here. And when uh, boy was talking, it's Indian, the number one. Indian one. Indian one. Indian one, or nativemedianetwork.com. Yeah, that's a lot easier for me to, re to remember. All right, so Boise State one, California one, Louisville one. There it is, Wisconsin. Yeah, we got this guy. He wants to know Wisconsin. I don't see no. I don't see your team there. Oh, there it is. All right, third quarter, seven forty-five left. Nebraska seventeen, Purdue fourteen. Looks like they're just barely going to pull it out, keeping that Nebraska ways. Yeah. <laughs> I think the logo is playing this evening, I think at 6 o'clock, 6.30, something like that. I don't, I don't know. We got a team, we got a high school team around we, here. We finally got a team, yeah. I watched them last weekend. Oh, we got a good quarterback. Uh, got to keep that guy in there. Some good receiver. Good running back, low bows. Yeah, I used to crack jokes about it, but not anymore. Yeah, we finally got a team. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Who did they play? Albuquerque High? Yeah. <laughs> you want some real college ball? Go on down to Norman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Or you can go to Stillwater when OU goes up there and you want some real college ball. <laughs> yeah. Always good. College football is on Saturday. Tomorrow's that other brand of football. That bandwagon brand of football. You know, a few years ago, everybody was all Broncos and Steelers fans, and they jumped ship and became Seahawks fans, and now they're all kind of Carolina fans, migrating back to being Bronco fans. I'm not even Broncos fans. Are. No, the pack is back. Oh, yeah, and then they jump on you, your team's bandwagon. <laughs> but Cowboys are forever. <laughs> also, wanted to acknowledge Marco. Yeah, good to see Marco here. Yeah. I mean, uh, right on. Good to see her here. My old girlfriend from way back. Hey. Yeah. Good to see her in Silas. Yeah, my man Silas. All right. Where's Lewis hiding out this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. And you assist him a lot. Good to see you, Margo, anyway, yeah, good to see you here. All right, then, uh, any more word answers? Yeah, I can invite you to come on out. We still have a little bit more time. Our man Hanson's in the house, yeah, right on. Another whole chunk. Right, Badger fan. Okay, all right, thanks, Ron. Better uh, the boy inviting all the word dancers.
sins and let's decode that and learn that last song.
Cosme Court Society out there near Carnegie. Being honored at this time, JJ Ahoa, the front of the speaker stand. Yeah, we 
kind of go way back to Skamitsin back in 94. Uh, kind of part of the originating body of there. He served as one of our arena directors. So, you see uh, Rusty here. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. We got the. Uh, we're going to start getting, kind of toning it down. I believe we have our supper break about 5 o'clock or so, so. Dinner break's going to be at 5 o'clock. Also, during that last song, we were, Tommy Spotted Bird was honored there on the east side, so thank you all the relatives who came out and honored and danced with Tommy during that last song. Again, there's vendors that are here set up. If you're hungry, there's some tamales over there on the north side. I was over there and I'm not gonna tell you how much he wants for those tamales over there, but it made me rethink how much I was gonna spend on a tamale because in Window Rock, it's a dollar to two dollars a tamale. This was like double, triple that. And so I said, I want to see this tamale first because I know you Pueblo's got small hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. Because look at this sucker, boy. That thing's huge. It's worth the money. It's worth the money. Yeah. It's decent. All, all my Pueblo relatives are just kidding. We're here to have a good time. We'll pick on the Navajos later. <laughs> yeah. Some of us be sleeping on couches and outside in the car, but let me talk for too long. Again, help out our vendors as best you can. That was the whole point of that announcement. Help our vendors out. Go buy something from them. You know it's Christmas time. It's coming up. It's Katie's birthday. Might want to go buy Katie something. Uh-huh. Or get some get some tamales and feed your friends. In that old way like that. Also on behalf of Grandpa out there, I want to say thank you to all the seniors for coming out and helping them out. I know Grandpa's always thankful for all the help he gets. He's been singing a good number of years out here. I've sang with him quite a number of times. Always honored to sing with him, and he always has a lot of people coming out and helping him. Thankful for that. And better watch out, Kelly, he got some dirty stories. So make sure Patsy's not listening when he starts talking those ways like that. <laughs> so good to see Kelly and Jeremy, my brother Jeremy, out here. From Mesa. Also, Myron, Ramon, going around, Hi, J Boy. We should have tied in. The rest of you guys, all I see are hot dog necks. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to let your hair grow out. It's going to look like hot dogs back there. Again, at 6.30 this evening, we're going to have a woman's Weecha contest and then a man's Lulu contest. Also this evening, there'll be a Southern Strait um, honoring and some other honorings in honor of KD going on after Grand Entry. <laughs> Grand Entry scheduled for 7 o'clock, so let it be known this is first call for Grand Entry. Probably be second and third call unless the uh, boy remembers Grand Entry. I always forget until it's time for Grand Entry. So I make my first call at Grand Entry on Facebook. If you're my friend, you know that. If you're not my friend, well, uh, that's okay. That's all right. Again, be a broadcast on nativemedianetwork.com or NDN1. That's the number one. The letters ending in one.com. Broadcast live. I clicked on it. For real, it's live. I feel like I'm going to be a movie star. There's going to be some agent somewhere wanting to say, you know what, Ernie, we want your voice. Well, all right. That sounds good. Also, want to recognize one of the ladies. I don't know where she went. She was sitting right up there. She works with 
She's the tribal liaison for the tourism office there in Santa Fe. Where did she go? She was walking around. She go back to Santa Fe. And, uh, where is she at? I just want. We'll come back to her. But you guys remind me. That's Rima Christ. I believe that's her name. And she's been walking around taking pictures and. What she's working on, and she's working with Irene and James, is to bring a Nawa to Santa Fe. And so we're anxious to see how that plan's gonna come together, go up to Santa Fe for a Nawa, other than the Indian market, and IAIA, I believe. They also have a dance there in, is it May? I can't remember. Been a while. I used to live out here, so I kind of like knew when all the dances were. Then I moved away from here, and I forgot about all of them. I just know State Fair. And that's it, State Fair. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I remember the State Fair powwow. That one's pretty cool. Cause you don't know who's gonna show up at State Fair. You get like Indian celebrities, and then you get like non-Indian celebrities. They all show up. State Fair, so, all for the powwow. Oh, then there's the Gathering Nations powwow. That's in April. There'll be a dance out here at Sandia Prep on Sunday, November 20th at 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Over here, right down the street there on Suna Road. I'll be your master of ceremonies. Our head Southern singer is Don Patterson out of Tomawa, Oklahoma. Our head gourd dancer, Kyle Toya out of Sia Pueblo. Head man dancer, Narciso Toledo out of Wallatoa. And our head lady dancer, Mula Sunrise out of Albuquerque. Marina director, Shide Victor, Sponka out of Albuquerque. Head teen boy, Elijah Lalio. Head teen girl, Elena Atencio. Rocky Ridge Powwow Princess, Head Northern Drum, Shuka Ska, and your team boy, Sandia Prep School, Gary Torrio. So again, November 20th at Sandia Prep, come on out over there. We're gonna have a good time. Fifth Annual Heartbeat of Gratitude Gordon Dance, Saturday, November 12th, in Ghost Ranch there in Abiquiu. New Mexico, JJ's putting that on, so if you got any questions about vendors and such, vendors always do good there, you know? All you vendors, you might want to talk to JJ about going out to Ghost Ranch. We're going to another set of gourd dance here, all you gourd dancers. Meet you, huh?
been rusty and dead from rusty during that last song. Yeah. Tom Watt and Joey Kozak, Rusty's oldest brother. Composed by Lenny Jr. I also want to say thank you to the relatives who honored these young two boys over here. The left of the finger stand.
during that last song, some hog back in Mexico by way of Albuquerque. Also to the kind of relatives who dance with and honor Ramon Yossi Sr. over there in the drums from Winter Rock by way of Stallville, Arizona. Big shot.
for you during that last song again being honored by Silas Perkins. And then also at the drum, all the relatives who came out and honored and danced with Ed Pacheco. <laughs> <laughs> 